from the station working for you. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Amanda Storantino and these are your headlines. A more than one trillion dollar infrastructure package is on its way to the U.S. House after winning bipartisan approval today in the Senate. And Indiana stands to gain billions if it is ultimately signed into law. This is how the infrastructure bill is expected to impact Indiana. $6.6 .6 billion will go to highway improvements. Another $401 million is earmarked for bridge replacement and repairs. $682 million will go towards improving public transportation across the state. And $100 million would support the expansion of electric vehicle charging stations. And another $100 million will go to improve broadband access. Meanwhile, the Indianapolis Public Library is in danger of losing some of its funding. The Indianapolis Foundation says complaints raised by staff over experiences of inequity and bias are cause for concern. The foundation also says as a result, it is withholding future funding to the library until, quote, significant, meaningful and measurable change toward a more equitable internal environment is evident. In response, a library spokesperson says ongoing efforts related to the library's work for racial equity are detailed in our website. While these steps have been necessary and important, they have not gone far enough. Improving the working situation for all of our employees must be our focus now. Isolated thunderstorms early tonight, but I think they become more widespread as we go through the overnight into the morning hours tomorrow. Let's talk about what doesn't change in the forecast next couple of days. Lower 90s. Slight chance of thunderstorms continuing with heat index values over 100. Th Friday is a transition day with thunderstorms likely. We're transitioning to cooler, drier, more comfortable conditions for the weekend. You can find all of our content anytime at WRTV.com and on the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.